and I started howling Ow! at the top of my mother lungs. And then all of a sudden, energy started pulsating through me and then I used that energy to serve my clients. What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> it's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode in this channel and in today's episode, just finished up my 7 a.m. call which is called Rise. Woke some people the fuck up. And now I've got a meeting with my girl Britsy. The highlight of today is gonna be a meeting with Trainer Eyes where we're gonna talk about a partnership. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Let's go. Hey y'all, so every morning I find like one TikTok comment to respond to and then I make a video. It's usually like I reply to a hater comment because it gets good traction. So um, I just made a video and I'm gonna show you guys my edit. Bro thinks he's the main character. Bro knows he's the main character. Okay, so I try to make my clips like 1.5 seconds because any more than that, people's people lose their attention span. I'm finding a sound right now, guy, or a song, you guys. I'm just thinking of my oh, shit to that. When the beat drops, I want to be shown in the backyard. Yes. That's perfect. <laughs> Feel the passion in your voice, and you put it on like one of the hate a sound on one of the haters. Yeah. Those will go viral on TikTok. People will reuse those sounds. She said, you're the mother one on my coffee. You're a cute, right? you're a cute mother Look at it, cause you're the mother, you're the mother one. You're the mother one. I'm the mother one. And I'm the mother other one. I'm the other one. I'm the other one. I'm the other one. You're the one too. I'm the one also. <laughs> you're funny. You're funny. That was a good live stream. I like that one. Hit them right in the pisser. I feel like, it's crazy. This is why it's crazy, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys why it's crazy. Cause this morning when I woke up, what is life? I'm tired. I'm tired. Christian's talking to me on the way to the gym. I'm like, eh. I'm just gonna put my headphones in. I go to the gym. I'm like, put my headphones in. I'm like, man, fuck. you know, this life is hard. And then I got the fuck downstairs. Put my headphones in with some success motivation. And I started howling Ow! at the top of my mother lungs. And then all of a sudden, Energy started pulsating through me, and then I used that energy to serve my clients. And I think he turned it around. You turned it around before your live stream. After the gym, you were like in the parking lot, and you're like, I'm good. But that's the thing is, like, you're not gonna wake up every single day and feel 100%. You just have to bring yourself to that 100% point. Mm -hmm. Like, you might wake up and feel 70, but that doesn't mean your day has to be played at 70%. You can still play at 100%. You just have to get there. I do not think that it is necessary to live every single mother day of your life with this f***ing OW! But I think it's like the 80-20 rule, right? I think most of y'all mother truckers are living 80% of your life with this low ass, weak vibrational energy and 20% of your life maybe you feel f***ing good or maybe it's one day a week where I personally believe in the mother 80-20 rule which means 80% of your life you should be living in this f***ing abundant like financial success like everything is good that's happening to me state and then 20% of your life you need to chill the f*** out. Chill the out. You can't but I would argue that like you've been like in this state he's been like with this like beast unlocked for like a solid like month straight like every day he wakes up even if it's not like the best day or he's tired, he like musters up the energy. And something Brian and I used to do like every night before we go to bed is set the intention for the next day. So we'd like look at each other and we'd be like, tomorrow's gonna be the best day of our life. And I feel like we should start doing that again. Yeah. We do do it sometimes still. Yeah. But we used to like, that used to be like religious. When we were living at the townhouse religiously, we'd be like, today's the best yeah. day of our life. Also you guys, Brian made this for me. This thing. For my birthday, I'm gonna show you guys a couple pages. I found it yesterday. So Brian usually just gets like very, he'll get you like a MacBook or he'll get you something like expensive, but he made this for me. Isn't that cute? I wanna find some of the leather ones. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? He made it all for me. I wanna keep it somewhere where I can look at it like every month. It's so cute. Celebrate good times, come on. Uh, no, no, no. What's up fam? 
How y'all doing? Hope you guys are having the best day of your motherfucking life. Hope everyone's doing amazing. All right, so I'm gonna tag a bunch of the homies in the comments and we're gonna have a conversation about a few things, all right? So, shortened up the call schedule. So there's three calls on the schedule um, and there's not a new student support call anymore because you're not new students anymore. Take a look at your delivery this week, all right? So the project of the week, if you're a new student, is delivery. That is have you implemented a group coaching call or a group kickoff call for your new clients yet? And not only that, people are also supporting each other and they're encouraging each other and they're helping each other out. That's like an active community, right? Like, then the next thing you need to work on is attraction. And you guys think that your attraction's good, but unless your business has 1,300 to 1,400 clients or you have you know, as many inbound leads as Natasha does on a weekly basis or Janelle does on a weekly basis, then you need to improve your marketing, okay? Wins B. Um, wins, 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 wins. Let me see. Um, I mean, the fact is that the event sold out, but that was all a couple days ago. I just wasn't here, home. Said anything, we've got 40 students that are like, what the fuck is going on? So yeah. we, don't, we don't want those incoming DMs. We want to be get on the ball. So we need to contact them today and let them know that the next step will be coming out on Monday. Cole, go ahead. I was going to say, do you, uh, do you want to just make a Facebook group chat and keep this shit simple? And then they can just talk and have fun in there? Yeah, we can do that. Let's sure. just do that. And then we don't need to deal with oh, uh, emails, yeah. nothing. It could just like, then if we need to say something, we'll just say it. And then we can literally send a voice note. It's cool. being like, we're not going to be updating you guys every day in here. Yeah. This is just to make sure that you guys are updated. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So let's do that. That's a great idea. Thank you for that. Okay, guys. So just finished up. Like I said, okay, guys, again, idiot. Um, just finished up my morning meeting. And my girl, my girl's cute. Look at this. It says I'm a mother one. She got me a coffee that says that. It's so cool. So I'm gonna take a look at my day right now and let you guys know what I got going on for the rest of the day. In 25 minutes, I have a call with my lawyer. We have like a, we've got a situation that we're dealing with in terms of an old past employee that was disgruntled, so I'm dealing with that. Natasha and I are gonna be doing a podcast at 10 a.m. PST, which is gonna be lit. And then I've got a call with Trainer Eyes at noon, and I've got a TikTok training in a coaching program. So honestly, it's not that busy of a day, which is cool. Right now, I'm gonna buy Phil Heath tickets to come see me at my casa. All right, guys, so I just got off the phone with my lawyer doing some boring legal stuff. And now, I also just booked a flight for Philippi. Right, Phil Heath is coming. Show them your diaper because you piss all over our stuff. Even though we take you out six to seven times a day, you just like to pee on things, right? It's okay, guys, so I got Phil Heath. Phil Heath's coming. You're excited to meet Big Phil, right? Yeah, Phil Heath's coming and I'm super pumped about it. It's gonna be awesome. So that's cool. And um, now I need to lock in a potentially bigger venue. Now I wanna talk about this for a second because mine and Cole's goal is to always level up and obviously getting Phil Heath to come speak at our event is a massive level up. But the other massive level up that we need to talk about is a bigger event because man, the amount of people that I have in my DMs right now are like so upset about the fact that we don't have enough space for them is like astronomical. So we're thinking about opening up a couple more seats, but we have to get a bigger venue. So we're working on that right now. I'm gonna fill out the forms and we're gonna get it popping. time so I literally in the middle of the day <laughs> I need to eat I'll just have a bowl of beef <laughs> the bowl of beef <laughs> so I'm gonna eat one more give me that shit give me that shit more alright right. ah! Phil Heath trip booked bigger venue just applied uh, now Natasha and I are gonna do a podcast. I don't even know what we're gonna talk about, honestly. I'm just gonna kinda get into it. So Nat and I are gonna do a podcast. We're in the same place together. I think we're gonna talk about masculine feminine energy, so.
All right, guys, so Natasha and I just did our podcast, and it was fucking awesome. Did it out here. Show me the fucking table. Just this is our little setup. I've got a little bit of a break. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the gym and just kind of see how everyone's doing and just kind of get myself out of my environment. And then, and then, yeah. And then, oh, I got my training with AJ Morton at 1 p.m. I want to make sure I'm fully present for that. So let me go for a break, recharge, reset, chill, and then come back, and I've got a fire training at 1 p.m. Oh. We breaking chains over here. Yeah, and you can stay over there. Stay, cause this is revolution mixed with execution. We insane over here. Yeah, we taking over, making no excuses. They can't control us when they only shooting blanks. Don't obey the rules. We go against the grain. We fight the system until no one else. Everything. They all work here. It's a sombrero. bucket hat. Sombrero girl. It's a bucket hat. Sombrero girl. It's because I washed my hair and I couldn't put on makeup today. Where's Nat? Uh, she went for a drive. Cool. Yeah. Where are you? Lit. What What's are you up? doing? I am going to blow everybody that goes in AJ Morton's program tonight. Oh, can you do it out here so I can watch? I actually, want to, I think I want to do it down there so they can see the pool in the background. Oh, I'll still be able to see here. I have some links ready. Um, I have the form. Yep. I'm gonna give people the Zoom link as well so they can drop in with us. Yep. That being said, let's talk about TikTok, all right? Anything that comes out, I jump on because I understand the gift of social media, all right? And that, like, that really is the beauty of social media, just understanding that like, you can go from nothing to something extremely fast. So guys, the other platforms that are popping are Instagram Reels and Facebook Reels. You can take that same video, download it from TikTok with TickSave without the watermark, post that on Instagram Reels. You can take that same video, go to Facebook, and you can put, post on your personal Facebook Reel, over deliver to those individuals, right? And then through, by over delivering to those individuals, they're like, yo, this AJ Morton guy, like this guy's legit. I'm done. I'm exhausted. Uh, I think that was good. I don't know how many people were there, but the value, bruh. I'm tired. I usually don't do trainings in the afternoon. I usually do them in the morning when I have a lot of energy. But I was in the afternoon when I was tired. So that was hard. But it was a cool opportunity. Oh, I'm grateful for it. My glutes are sore. Where'd my wife go? She didn't go pack. Pack for what? Uh, the camping trip. Oh, f What? <laughs> you need tomorrow. I need to pack too, bro. <laughs> Okay guys, that brings us to the end of today's YouTube episode. I'm gonna let little Jax go. The piece of actionable advice that I'm gonna give you guys today is always give more value than you ask for. This is your life lesson too. Always give more value than you ask for. And so with that being said, like I think so many people go into the world and, and are asked, they're like, like, they're like, gimme, gimme, you know? Why am I not signing clients? Why am I not making money? Why am I not growing on social media? Why, 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 why? Gimme, 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 gimme. And they're not giving. You know, the secret to growth is giving. The secret to the universe rewarding you is giving. Like you gotta find a way to deliver value. That's really where the, where the riches lie. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys got some value. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and chase the dream. Let's go.